At a UN border base in the town of Nakura, US-mediated talks began on Wednesday morning between two old foes, Lebanon and Israel. At the heart of the discussions, an 850 square kilometre patch of the Mediterranean Sea, with its point at the part where the two countries meet and where each side has territorial claims. The waters are abundant with natural gas and oil, but without a deal demarcating the borders, they remain off limits for commercial developers, starving both countries of access to crucial resources. For Lebanon specifically, the implications could be huge, with a potential $6 billion available annually from the natural gas, helping it overcome its massive debt. The country is mired in its worst economic crisis in modern history and is still reeling from the August 4th Beirut port blast, which killed more than 190 people. The explosion unleashed public anger, with some Lebanese laying the blame with Hezbollah. This after the United States accused the militant group of storing the chemicals that caused the blast. The organization is also a longtime enemy of Israel, but with its political influence waning, coupled with US sanctions targeting politicians aligned with the group, a breakthrough emerged, opening up the possibility for negotiations which had stalled for over a decade. Unlike the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, the dialogue is not the precursor for normalizing ties, with both Lebanon and Israel still technically in a state of war. Wednesday's talks lasted just one hour. However, Lebanese defense sources confirmed a second meeting is now scheduled for October 28th.